And welcome back on this Wednesday morning. What a full house, too, Miss Peggy, John, and Jonathan with us this morning. We're talking about Civil War living history. Now, many of you know Rebecca Davis here that handles the uh, Limestone County records, I guess you can say. And you said, John, you were just like that, basically. Yeah, I'm, the, I'm Rebecca's counterpart in Decatur. All right. So. You know, we don't get to hear a lot about Decatur, so this is good having you guys up here. Yeah, happy to be here. Tell me about what people can expect and what you have going on. John, you Who want to take, take lead that? On Jonathan? That? Uh, what, what we're doing is uh, about a six day um, commemoration okay. of um, Civil War action that took place, what we call the Battle of Decatur during late October 1864. And uh, let's see, we've got the archives, grand opening. John has done a wonderful job. There's going to be a ribbon cutting on um, Ribbon cutting at 10 a.m. Friday. The public's okay. invited. Uh, this is a Smithsonian Seven. quality exhibit. Okay. Uh, it's very well done. Uh, a lot of artifacts that have never been seen in public before. Nice. Uh, let's see. And we're going to move on to um, Saturday's the big day, and just about everything is free. Uh, we're having tours of the Old State Bank, the Dancy Polk Home, okay. uh, the Burleson House, a lot of people used to call it the McIntyre Home, and we're What's the going... the Blue and Gray Museum? Yeah, now there's a $5 charge for that. That's it's a private concern, but everything else is free. And we're, so we're giving walking tours of, his, of the historic sites that uh, mark high points of the, of the action during the 1864 battle. On Sunday, we're having a community church service that everyone's invited to at the new Dykin Amphitheater in Founders Park, which is, okay. if you don't know, it's just across the walkway from the Old State Bank. It's a brand new facility. What uh, time will that be? Uh, 8 a.m. 8 a.m. service, yeah. okay. Jumping back to Saturday, though, we're having living historians at the Dancy Polk Home. This is the oldest home in Decatur. 1829, and it may or may not be one of the last times the public's able to access it. It is for sale, it is a private okay. residence, and so that's a real treat to get wow, to go what through this home. To be able to, yes, well, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. That. I bet. Miss Peggy, do you think it's difficult to get people involved in history these days? But the young generation doesn't seem to even care. Well, that's our, that's our job, to challenge them and, and make them more aware of what our history is. Mm -hmm. it's come, it's challenging is probably the best it word. It is. It is. But, but it with exhibits, with the exhibits. Absolutely. That that's what I was about to say. With the, an exhibit like John has at the archives, fabulous. And we want teachers mm -hmm. to bring their students and homeschoolers. We just want people to come out to view it. Maybe that would be a good way for teachers to give like extra credit points or something. And that would be great. There too. Wouldn't that be a good idea if they did yeah. that? And then seeing people, are there going to be anyone in character or? I yes. Mean, it's going to be, I mean, you're going to get to learn a lot without even possibly knowing anything about it. Well, that's, that's always been my goal for the mm -hmm. exhibit, which is a permanent exhibit, by the way, for the archives. Okay. Uh, the, we, we want everyone from the history buff who really knows everything about the war, and believe you me, people come in that know way more about it than I do, uh, <laughs> and all the way to your average student who really doesn't have the first idea. So you, you get to know a little bit about the causes of the conflict, you get to know about, uh, you know, what happened in Morgan County. Mm -hmm. And of course, it's largely the story of North Alabama as well. It was all interrelated. Uh, not only how national events affected us, but how events here affected the course of the war. Right. A lot of, more happened here than you think. You know, of course, everybody talked to There's great granddaddy or whatever about these stories, yeah. but some of those stories are true, <laughs> and, and even more to hear than he knew about. Great That's stories right. if you come down there. What are the hours people can come if they can't make it for this certain event, but they do want to definitely visit the archives? Well, what the archives that? is eight to four thirty Monday through Friday. Okay. That's the same hours as the courthouse. We're a, we're a division of county government. Okay. So, if the courthouse is open, we're open. You're typically open. Yeah. Anything else you want to add? What will be the biggest thing that you think will surprise people when they show up? I think the living history. Uh, we have USCT soldiers. We have Confederate soldiers, reenactors. You might we want have, to tell them what USCT is. Uh, United States okay. Colored Troops. <laughs> okay. um, and Decatur's best kept secret is that the fourth 
Alabama infantry of African descent mm -hmm. was actually raised in Decatur. Awesome. So that was the first USCT, first of two USCT troops raised in Alabama. What is it that fascinates you so much about history? Uh, the people. I love their stories. Yesterday I was talking to a gentleman actually passing some flyers out and he said, why are you so involved with this? <laughs> but that's because they don't know our history. Mm -hmm. And he uh, was an African American man. What I want people to know is that this is not just a white history, it's mm -hmm. our history and there we all need lives. to be involved right. with it. So, okay. um, fascinating stories. Uh, mm -hmm about our history. Our as a whole, and it was nice to put something together. That's fine, you can leave it right there. Did you, did you want to say Well, something? I wanted to say on Tuesday, the, at, at straight up noon, will be the exact 150th anniversary to the time that 363 men of the uh, 14th United States Colored Troop. Uh, if you've seen the movie Glory, the, the mm -hmm. big charge at the end, well the same thing happened in Decatur. And these men charged across the ground that is now Rhodes Ferry Park. And we have what we believe is the only historic marker in the state of Alabama to the heroism of black troops in the Civil War. Yeah, you're going to go and you're going to learn all about it, okay? <laughs> She wanted to make sure she had a ticket. <laughs> but it, it's, a it, it's a fascinating part of the history that not many people know. Mm -hmm. And it, uh, these men fought and died across that ground, and we're going to commemorate that. We have the uh, Secretary General uh, from Washington, D.C., mm -hmm. of the National Sons and Daughters of the United States Colored Troops come to uh, the commemoration that right. day. And everybody's invited. It, everything's free. We, we want to make history fun. We want to make it interesting. Uh, and I, I think we're going to accomplish that. I think, and I think a lot of people are going to learn a lot. Yeah. Wait, there sorry. should be something for everybody. We've got a free band concert, two free movies, walking tours, uh, museum exhibits. Is everything online? So. Can people go to a website? Mm -hmm. Yes. What's the website address? CivilWarDecatur.com. CivilWarDecatur.com to find out the itinerary and everything that's taking place. And you can get in touch with them as well, I'm sure. Or you can contact me and I'll pass along Who's some Wally Terry dresses. I, that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> Wally Terry may be dressed up as someone. Who knows? Or I'm just down there enjoying we gotta, it. we got to get him a costume. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Definitely a character. Anyway. All right. Well, thank you so much for being with us this morning and for participating in that crazy game. You can sing, too. All right. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Sheriff Mayor Marks is here and Dee Lauderdale. We've got a lot to talk about. Stay with us.